Hey everybody, what's up? Chrome Bandit here. And, um, this is, uh, whoa, this, this is actually a Spaz 12 game, isn't it? Um, Spaz 12, this, okay, this class is really good. First off, I like to say this class is, um, probably my favorite Russian class, I'd say. If you like to run around and be exciting and all that. Okay, lightweight, steady aim, and marathon. Well, all pro is, is recommended, but, I mean, you don't have to pro him, of course. Um, and the Spaz 12, no, uh, suppressor, no. I don't know, I just don't like suppressor, I mean, and it's no uh, pointless anyways, because even though you don't have shut up on the radar, I mean, if you get killed by a shotgun, it's pretty obvious where you're, what range you're going to be in. But, uh, Enemy oh, fail. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I think I'll talk about sniping for a bit, even though everyone uh, everyone else has talked about sniping. They'll talk about what I actually have um, some ideas for, and maybe you guys can help me out with them. Um, sniping. Uh, I realize it's hard to snipe in this game, and everyone says it's almost impossible. Um, it's actually not that bad. I, I do agree that, that the snipers are a bit atrocious as far as aim the aiming in and not and the not and the no scope whatever. Even though you're aimed in, you can still still counts as a no scope or something like that. And uh, that's pretty annoying. But um, I figured out how to use snipers. You got you got to treat everything really carefully. Um, I don't. Okay, don't use suppressor. I'll tell you that. Use every other attachment works pretty much fine. Um, I use the L96 just because I want that one shot kill, and I realized that you basically it's not I, I wouldn't call it hard scoping, but if someone gets medium close range to you, you I basically just use a variable zoom and keep it at the, at the lowest setting, the lowest power setting, and um, it, it's just base. Oh, look what I do here. I'm being so cool with the theater mode. It basically just keeps the uh. Oh, panic knife. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand what the, what the problem with that is. I don't even know how that term gets started. It's because it's because the knife gets pulled out really quickly or something like that. They're slowing down the knife time. I mean, I I get some panic knives too. I <laughs> uh, point taken. Um. Anyways, sniping. Um. I th yeah, it's it's actually very doable. And I actually lo I was gonna put a sniping game, but I lost the file. Well, actually, it's, and it's not actually sniping a pot. I pick up a 74U, and then things get a little hairy. That sounded dirty, raunchy. All right. Um. But yeah, sniping is not that bad. I mean, I, I actually I do it frequently now with the LNA6 just because I actually enjoy sniping. I made a goal to myself to get better at sniping, and um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I actually recommend if you guys snipe more, you re you'll realize that it isn't that bad, and it's actually very doable. And I'll get some sniping games for you to show you how I do it. Although, I actually kind of want to record them live because even though theater mode is a handy tool, um, it doesn't actually show. It actually, actually show you like the accuracy that I have. Like, if that shot should have been a register or if that shot missed or whatever. So I'll see if I can record a live um, sniper game. Sorry if you're hearing yelling in the background. My little brother's watching Tropic Thunder. Um, yeah, shout out to Sam. He gets a big shout out. <laughs> uh, that's my little brother. Um, yeah, holidays are coming up, and uh, I've been playing headquarters lately, just because uh, I get, everyone apparently gets the most points. Um, uh, right now, I know demolition is for spawn trapping. Um, headquarters is for a lot of points. Team deathmatch. I don't know. I don't even play team deathmatch anymore because I play the objective game type so much. That when you play team deathmatch, the games are so short that you, don't, you feel like you don't have enough time to do anything. Same with domination. I mean, I enjoy domination, but sometimes the games are really short in domination. And uh, yeah. So oh yeah. Um, what I'm what I'm gonna do lately? I realized. Um, okay, so there have been polite comments and not so polite comments about how um, I've been at ten thousand for a while. And I, I, I've kind of figured out a way to remedy this. Um, I actually, you saw me do that only using blade challenge, and um, I'm just gonna, I'm kind of just gonna throw out challenges to random um, big commentators. And uh, I'm also gonna like, yeah, like you know the challenges I did, like the challenge example for only using blade was um, to one in the chamber get a beat my get like a six kill streak in one of the chamber basically beat the six kill streak and actually after that I didn't really I didn't really realize that the maximum bullets you can have in your clip is seven 
Um, but still, um, uh, he hasn't messaged me back or anything about that, but I'm assuming he's working on it. Um, and I think I'm going to do that to other commentators. Like, if you guys have any ideas for cool challenges, like, for example, I'm about to do a challenge, um, for the Trout. Trout, if you're listening to this, get ready for this. Um, where, since I, he's probably, um, he's probably the, the commentator I've seen that plays zombies the most. I don't really see, it, like, a... A uh, commentator that plays like a like a huge zombie fan, I guess a Cal ex Calzars, but Calzars wouldn't really care about challenges. So I'm, it's out to, it's out to Trout. Um, on Kino, how far can you get? Um, in the first uh, in the first room without without unlocking any doors, just the M14 and the Olympia and the Quick Revive. It it's solo. I mean, obviously solo would be better. And uh, I'm gonna go into more details with the full video. Um, I got to round 10, if, if you're wondering, so if you want to get a head start on it, that'll be my next video, probably. The challenge of, uh, round 10 with, uh, no doors being opened in Kino. And, uh, <clears throat> I guess I might do one for 5, too. And, uh, the trick, well, okay, I'm gonna give you a tip right now. The trick to this is getting a fire sale, because if you get a fire sale, that, um, that box will open, and you can get a random weapon from it, and that's very important, otherwise, because the M14 and the Olympia suck the, at, after, like, round, like, 8, but anyways, yep, you you should actually get started on that um, challenge. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for challenges like this, let me know. I've just, I've just considered getting like a um, like a oh, how many kills can you get challenge. And uh, I also considered using other people's gameplay to make challenges. That way they, they get some attention as well as me. Like Richard, if you're listening to this, um, I love to borrow your uh, crap load of kills gameplay. And uh, challenge like someone like Sandy Ravage or White Boy, because they got. I usually see them getting a crap load of kills and uh, see if they can beat it. Or for example, like only. Uh, well, I mean that's not really special. I mean it's supposed to be like a special challenge. Like I got a really good knife game. Well, I used kill streaks, but I was only knifing, and I I might just challenge um one of them to get a a real huge uh, bunch of kills with like just only knifing. I mean I used to <laughs> I used Blackbird um. Chopper gunner and uh, dogs, but I mean, still knifing without using your, knifing and kill streaks. Basically, I'll probably challenge someone to do that. But if you have any other ideas for challenges, let me know because I love to hear some, and uh, you will of course be credited. I just need to remember, yeah. Just uh, if you are want interested in submitting a challenge, just submit it in like the comments or whatever, and then put your whatever you want to be called by. Um. It, like right, right next to your challenge, or if you want to just call by your YouTube, YouTube name, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I think it's actually a really creative idea, and also I'm doing this because it as gets attention for you if you make up the challenge, and also gets attention for me, and uh, it's my way of not asking for dual commentaries. It's actually just like involving everybody, including the subscribers, because I noticed that how everyone up high um, with a lot of subscribers, basically they just help each other out. And like they all group together, and like I'm not dissing at, uh, this guy or anything, but FPS Russia, like just got so many subs in the first couple of days. He was active just because everyone's like, dude, FPS Russia is so cool. Check him out. And uh, I I do feel bad for the people that never gotten a a shout out, because shout outs really one of one of the two ways that you um, rise. Yeah, the, the other way is being creative, but you know there's not a lot of that these days. Um. So yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's that's about what I want to talk about. Um, I, was, I, have, I guess I, I have some real life, funny real life stories I can tell if you guys want to hear that. Um, I actually depend a lot on feedback. So, you I mean you guys want to send me a message on YouTube or anything? I mean, I even if I don't, even if I don't answer your message on YouTube, I do look at all of them. But uh, oh, what was I doing there? Jeez, that was stupid. Um, also. Don't send me messages on Xbox because I'm just too lazy to type all the letters out. And uh, open lobbies will come come back as soon as I get as soon as I get my uh, confidence up, get my self-esteem going. <laughs> um, yeah. Today is the day you were somebody, and uh, I was that somebody. We had a cowboy smackdown in uh, my English class. No, actually my history class. Well, my history and English class, I guess, because they're both in the same. Um, hour, two hours, I guess. And uh, I uh, dressed up as a cowboy, and I had a good old southern ac um, southern American accent. And uh, 
I'd like to address the stereotype real quick before this game ends. Um, Americans are fat. Um, that applies to certain parts of America, like Washington, D.C., which is our capital, and I'm not dissing anybody from Washington, D.C., but that is a very um, enlarged capital of people. There's hot dog vendors in every freaking corner. Um, I have not, I've actually not actually been to most southern states, so I wouldn't know if there's fat people down there. Although, if, there, if anyone lives in southern state, let me know. Oh, that's my cue to end. Um, just get, <laughs> getting rid of the stereotypes and uh, just rocking the, rocking the stereotype. All right. Yeah, so let me know if you have any ideas for challenges and if you want to hear some real-life stories that could be funny, potentially. Or just like heart, heartfelt, warm Oprah stories. All right. See you guys later.